We are back with another birthday unboxing featuring my first ever Gucci bag and a Fendi item that I just couldn't stop thinking about. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel and love all things luxury, you my friend are in exactly the right place because we get it, not everyone does. So make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. I recently turned 32 and oh my gosh, honestly, you, because of the pandemic, I feel like I'm still in my late 20s. Does anyone else feel like this? I feel like I've lost a few years. We did, we lost a few years, right? So um, coming to terms with, with turning 32, um, but very exciting, I recently did an unboxing on my channel, birthday unboxing. If you haven't seen that, I'll pop a link up here and down below for you. In that, I unbox some dream, a dream dress that I'm wearing right now um, and some dream shoes as well as a few other pieces. And then we flew them all over to Dubai to check them out. So you might want to go and watch that video if you haven't seen it already. Today is part two. And the reason that I've done this in two parts is because these items I ordered basically like on or just after my birthday as like birthday treats to myself. Now that they have arrived, we can unbox them together. And before we dive straight in, if you never want to miss a video release again, make sure you are signed up to the Hands by Collie email list linked down below. Okay, so the first item we are going to unbox, we've got the Gucci bag, we've got the Fendi item, um, and I did order myself something else as a little bit of a treat. The first item I got from Penhaligans, I think that's how you say it, Penhaligans, is that right guys? Um, this is a perfume store here in the UK. I'm not sure if this is like known globally, um, but I do know in the UK it's quite a popular brand. They make some really beautiful fragrances and someone sent me a link to a half price secret sale on their website. Now, luckily, I actually visited the store when I went to Bist Village, and there was one fragrance that I really liked the smell of. So, and it was it was in this half price sale. So I ordered two bottles. So I'm packaging them together. Because these were in the secret sale, it did say that these bottles won't come in like packaging, like proper packaging is in like boxes. So they are wrapped in this tissue paper, which is really cute. It's got like prints of all their other fragrances on which is really nice. And the two bottles that here wrapped in bubble wrap for protection. Here we go. So these are 100 ml Eau de, de Toilette and this is Jardinia. So this is the one that I smelt at Bista. I really liked it. It's like a really fresh fragrance. I feel like this is such a beautiful like floral fragrance and this for me I've started wearing it like in the day. I just think it's really nice. It's not too overpowering but it's definitely different from anything that I've had before. Very like light and fresh so I am loving that. Uh, highly recommend Penhaligans if you want a scent that's maybe a bit more unique. You know I feel like when I've had Chanel perfumes in the past you like Chance, Mademoiselle, um, Dior, they're all really, really beautiful fragrances. Like, don't get me wrong. I actually still have, um, I think, a few bottles of some of those. But sometimes you do run into people who are wearing exactly the same fragrance, especially when it comes to Chanel. So if, yeah, if you're looking for something a bit more unique that you aren't gonna be smelling on like loads of other people potentially, um, then I highly recommend. Next up, let's unbox Fendi. Oh my gosh, um, I'm so excited about this because I had kind of lost a bit of hope that I would actually be able to get hold of them for the price that I did. So, um, just to give a bit of context to this purchase, I actually saw these at Bista Village and I vlogged them. They were in that vlog. So if you saw it, you might know what is inside of this box already. I was editing the video and I said to myself, they're really nice. I said they were really nice in the video as I was filming. Why didn't I try them on? Why didn't I buy them? They're actually really cool. Yeah, basically, I think I was just so in the zone of trying to film and get a little bit of footage because obviously the stores at Vista don't really like you to film. So I was in the zone and I didn't really like actually think about it until afterwards. I saw the footage and I was like, oh my gosh. So I emailed Vista, um, a really lovely sales associate called Jasmine got back to me. Thank you, Jasmine. Uh, and she helped me to source these. So let's unbox them now. So they were packaged incredibly well in this really sturdy box for protection. Here on top, we have a shopper bag. Oh my gosh, I love it when brands send like a little shopper bag as well. I think it's just so sweet, especially when you're spending quite a bit. So here we go, this is the box. You might already be able to tell, we've got some dust bags, plural here. Uh, as you know, this is not a bag. We've got, what is this in here? Like a little Fendi information leaflet. And here we go, packaging is gorgeous, as you would expect. Oh, even the shoes, they're, they're like freshly wrapped, guys. 
Oh my gosh, here we go. So these are slip-on sneakers and these are in the vertigo print. I love it. This is color tobacco. They also had like a multicolor. You can see that in my vlog, but I prefer the, this tobacco. I feel like it would go with more. We've got little Fendi like all the way around and we've got like a platform sole. These are so nice. What does everyone think? I absolutely love these. Um, with jeans, like trousers, I just think these look super cool. And I definitely, thinking about it, so designer shoes aren't really my thing. Bags are definitely more, I see it as like better investments because you can control how they wear and tear a little bit better than you can shoes. However, I have recently found that it's a little bit harder to dress because I often wear a lot of trainers because they are super, super comfortable rather than like heels or anything like that. And I do need some more like flat trainer style shoes that are comfortable that I can wear with my outfits, whether it's like a dress, a skirt, jeans, trousers. I feel like these are definitely going to do that. I'll pop a link to these down below, by the way, they are still available to buy but I did get these from Vista. I don't know if they've still got stock at Vista, by the way. I believe if you buy them full price, they are around five to 600 pounds. And I can tell you, I paid 300 for these. So still, you know, a sizable investment, but like half price based on recommended retail from Fendi. I am just loving them. They are so cool. I just love that they've got like Fendi on the side there. You've got the platform like style, which is quite popular right now. And the quality. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like lined with like leather and it's just so beautiful. They aren't too heavy. They are quite lightweight. Um, they are kind of like slip on style. So I actually think I would like to get these if I can in like a trainer style that actually does up and doesn't like slip off as much because they are kind of designed to do that. They're kind of like a skatery shoe. But yeah, I'm so happy I got these. Thank you so much again to Jasmine for helping me to source them. Um, I sized down half a size. So I'm normally at a size 38, a UK five, and I got a 37 and a half. To be honest, maybe I could have actually gone for the 37, but I figured I'll just put an insole in these if they are a little bit big, which they are slightly, and um, I'll just get on with it. But they do fit quite nicely. Um, yeah, loving these. Now on to Gucci unboxing. This is a bag. This is my first Gucci bag. And it's a bag that I've actually had my eye on for quite some time. I mean, like over a year I've been looking at this bag. I had to get this pre-loved because this is not a bag that is still available from the brand. And I found one, so let's unbox it. So it comes with its original Gucci box, which is really nice. When buying pre-loved, I really like it when things come with like original packaging. This one also has the dust bag. So I always keep all my packaging together because I definitely think it adds value to items pre-loved. So here we go. This is a tote bag from Gucci. It has the Gucci Supreme Light logo on there and it's got the bees on here. So this was a limited edition piece. It has black leather, which is essential for, you know, low maintenance. The handles are in really good condition. The outside of the bag looks like it's in pretty good condition. The bottom of the bag, looks like some of the bees are actually missing their gold. So that's probably like rubbed off over time, but the corners generally look pretty good. What do you think to my Gucci B bag? This is actually smaller because I've never seen this in person, right? I've only seen it um, online. This is smaller for some reason in real life than I thought it would be. Not that that's so much of an issue, but actually if I've got it here, it's quite a similar size and I wasn't expecting it to be to my Louis Vuitton Odium PM bag. Obviously the Gucci is like wider, but not by a whole lot. So I'm quite surprised at how small this is. Anyway, I do really like it. The canvas, I think I was expecting a canvas similar to like Louis Vuitton canvas, which is quite thick, quite sturdy. Generally, it can hold its own like weight and shape. This on the other hand is like very squishy. Here we go, look, I've had to put that in there because it will not like hold its shape. It literally kind of just like crumples <laughs> under its own weight so maybe i need to get like an organizer for this but let me just show you close up um, it is used i do need to try and give this some kind of clean it's got pocket inside of there and it's lined with like a suede inside and then it's got like a magnetic closure and it also comes with a detachable cross body strap and this was super important because right now i am all about a simple, easy crossbody bag. I think it sits like at quite a nice height here. And obviously once it's got like items inside, it will hold its shape a lot better. 
But yeah, how cute is this with like the bees and the Gucci logo and like overall, like the condition on the, especially on the outside of the bag is really good. So yeah, one I have been considering for a while and I found this one on eBay. I do really like it. It's definitely one of my favorite Gucci bags. How it's going to fit into my collection because I have got my Odeon, I have got quite a few crossbody bags that are a similar size to this. I'm not too sure, but I am going to try my best to make sure I put it into rotation, make sure I give it some use, see how I get on with it. Um, I'm definitely not gonna rule out selling this one day after kind of seeing it. Um, the canvas definitely doesn't feel like as good quality as Louis Vuitton, for example, but I definitely think it's like a really cute piece and I just love like the gold detail of the bees on there. Another great thing, it's really lightweight. So this is the Gucci Supreme tote bag. Um, I think they also did like a backpack and obviously the bee is on quite a few different things. But yeah, I just fell in love with this when I saw other people sharing them on social media. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think to my latest birthday purchases that I have treated myself with any excuse right I literally don't think I need an excuse I'm so so happy I managed to get the Fendi trainers I can definitely see myself once I've like bedded them in and made them more comfortable I can see me wearing them like all the time non-stop definitely for my like London trips uh, when I'm doing my vlogs and the Gucci B bag, yeah, I'm really excited to use that one. So do let me know what you think. I'll pop links down below to the items that I have mentioned in today's video. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you. And over here, we are going shopping in arguably one of the best malls in the world, Dubai Mall. There is so much eye candy. You are going to want to miss this. Enjoy.